we have had a unique opportunity. The chairman, chairwoman of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola, will be with us here today. She's in Denmark only for two days, and she will be spending most of the time with uh, Mrs. Mette Frederiksen, our Prime Minister. But she's also chosen to come here to Rüsselsdain to talk to you, our students and our visiting students, about the EU and the importance of international cooperation. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Nice Hi. Good morning. You know, when I got elected a uh, member of the European Parliament 10 years ago, I was the first woman from my country to be elected. I come from a country where traditionally more men get elected. When compared to a country like this, when you see how many women are in Parliament now. So I think that was the biggest change. I don't want to make it about gender, really. Uh, but the significance of when I got elected and in my first speech I said, it's been 20 years since a woman was last in this position. The one before her, 20 years earlier. I don't want another 20 years to pass before another woman becomes president of the European Parliament. How do we convince you? How do we convince your parents? And how do we make sure that when you get to have an option to vote for your representatives in the European Parliament, that you don't think that that Parliament is too far away? That's why I'm here. Which candidate represents me most? Mm. You will be faced with a huge amount of candidates. My question, my appeal to you, is to vote. Because if you don't vote, they will get elected anyway. Someone will always get elected. You might not like what you see. And more importantly, if you vote, you can hold your representative to account. Even all the focus there is right now on, on the Ukraine crisis, and, and rightly so, how do you make sure that in the European Parliament to, to keep the momentum on the green, uh, uh, I mean, the green transi transition? <laughs> Thank you, Maris. Um, this was actually a question that we asked ourselves immediately after the invasion. Uh, because al already then we started to be concerned about the fact that all our attention could be elsewhere. But in fact, the opposite happened. We changed all that. From 90% dependent on Russia for gas, there is a 7% dependent now. But shouldn't we just give uh, Roberta one more round of applause? For this So, I don't speculate on outcomes, but I would say about 5% is recycled. Mm. So that also then, why is it permitted to?